Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Dengar Science Tuan Kumunawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the movement and exchange of gases in the human body. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the movement and exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the human body. During inhalation, Air is taken into the lungs through the nasal cavity, passing through the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and finally alveoli. The air that reaches the alveoli is rich in oxygen and poor in carbon dioxide. Gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs by diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of substances from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. The air inhaled into the alveolus has a higher concentration of oxygen compared to the concentration of oxygen in the blood. Therefore, oxygen will diffuse through the wall of the alveolus into the wall of the capillaries and into the blood. In the red blood cells, there is a dark red-colored compound known as hemoglobin. Hemoglobin will combine with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin, which is an unstable compound and bright red in color. Blood with oxyhemoglobin is transported from the lungs to the heart to be pumped to the other parts of the body. When the blood reaches the area around the body cells that has a low concentration of oxygen, the oxyhemoglobin, being an unstable compound, will decompose to release oxygen molecules and change back into hemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin in the red blood cells releases oxygen, which then diffuses into the body cells. In the body cells, the diffuse oxygen oxidizes glucose molecules into carbon dioxide, water and energy through the process of cellular respiration. Therefore, body cells have higher concentration of carbon dioxide than in the capillaries. Carbon dioxide released by the cells diffuses into the blood capillaries and is transported to the alveolus to be removed during exhalation. The adaptations of the alveolar structure increase the efficiency and maximize the exchange of gases in the human body. Among the adaptations of the alveolar structure are very thin walls, moist wall of alveolus, large surface area of alveolus, and surrounded by a large network of blood capillaries. The alveolus and blood capillaries have thin walls which are made up of only one layer of cells. This structure facilitates and increases the rate of diffusion of gases across the walls of the alveolus and blood capillaries. Secondly, the moist wall of alveolus allows respiratory gases to dissolve and diffuse into the blood capillaries. The lungs contain millions of alveoli which provide a large surface area for the exchange of gases. And lastly, the alveolus is covered by a compact network of capillaries which increases the rate of gaseous exchange between the alveolus and the blood capillaries. Other than the alveolar structure, another factor that can increase the exchange of gases in the human body is the difference in concentration of gases in the alveoli and blood capillaries. The greater the difference in concentration of a gas in the alveoli and blood capillaries, the higher the rate of diffusion of the gas between the alveoli and the blood capillaries. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next lesson.